Hey guys, it's XAP here and welcome back to another high pixel skyblock tutorial video. Today we are going to be talking about how to get a god sword here on um, high pixel skyblock. Now this video is based off of the fact that people, a lot of people have been asking me what my sword has or what, like what kind of sword I have and then what kind of gear I have. Okay, but before I get into this video, there's a couple things I want to say. Basically, what I'm going to be talking about here is I'm not going to be talking about the very best like swords you can get what I'm talking about is how you can enchant normal common swords that everyone has and anyone can get access to to make them quote unquote god swords that can one shot mobs I also want to say that this list is based off of my opinion um, I, I did try to like kind of go off of what's gonna help you one shot mobs like the easiest and what what enchants are the most important for that but again it's my opinion so Keep in mind that you may want to prioritize certain enchantments over the others. Um, that's just a matter of how you want to make your sword. I'm just here to give you my recommendations. And the reason that I'm ranking these enchants from most to least important is every time you add an enchant onto your weapon, it costs more XP than the previous one to be able to put it on with uh, an anvil like this. Like the last enchantment I put on mine is one we're going to talk about later, but it's Vamp 5, and it costed me 132 levels to put it on my sword. So I don't even want to know how much it's going to cost me to put the next one on. <laughs> we're also going to be basing all these ratings off of you, like we're going to assume that you have um, good or at least decent gear. And the reason for that is... When you have good gear, you have more health, and a certain enchants are less effective when you have more health. So we're going to be basing off of that. So if you have less health, then some of the order of these enchantments, like some of them would be higher on the list for you. So just keep that in mind if you don't have as good gear as me. And by the way, we'll have another video up about my armor later today. So if you're interested in that, um, just make sure you stay tuned to the channel, and that will be up sometime today. So first of all, my sword, it's an undead sword. The undead sword and the cleaver are going to be the two types of swords that you're going to see the most. Um, I'm sure you guys have recognized that by now. But yeah, the undead sword, if you guys don't know, does extra damage to undead mobs, which is um, zombie skeletons, um, wither skeletons, and zombie pigmen, and there might be some other things included. In oh, it's right here actually. It says skeletons, wither, zombies, and zombie pigmen. So some people prefer the cleaver, some people prefer the undead sword. I like the undead sword because most of the mobs that you deal with are going to be undead. Like when you're in the mines and stuff, almost all those mobs are undead except for the slimes and the emerald layer. And the cleaver is going to be the best sword for like overall damage if you're just if you just want to be able to kill any mob. The undead sword with all these enchants will still do good damage to the other mobs, but the cleaver is going to be your best all-arounder. But yeah, so my sword isn't maxed out, and there's actually still a couple of enchants that I want to get on it. Um, but I do have a full list of all the enchants that you can get on a weapon, and I've ranked them from most important to least important. And then I also have some like miscellaneous ones that, I mean, you can get them if you want them, but I don't necessarily recommend it. So, first off, the most basic enchant that you're going to want to get, depending on whether you have an undead sword or a cleaver... With the Undead Sword, you're going to want to get Smite 5. If you have a Cleaver, you're going to want to get Sharpness 5. The next most important enchant I have on my list here is First Strike 4. Um, first Strike, basically what it does is it deals... If you have um, First Strike 4, like I have, the max level, it deals double damage on the first hit you deal to a mob. So that is a huge factor in being able to one-shot mobs, which is what this sword does. Okay, so next up we have Critical 5. Um, as you can see here though, I actually only have Critical 4. Um, when I put it on my sword, I didn't realize that, like I, I asked one and they told me that the max level was only 4. So um, yeah, mine's only level 4, but if you, if you can, you're going to want to try to get level 5. Basically what it does is it increases your crit damage so that you do a lot more damage when you crit. And this in combination with having a high crit chance, which you have to do by um, doing a lot of combat training, which ups your combat level, uh, then it's gonna be really good. So the next enchant I have on my list here is gonna be Venomous 5. This is actually one that I don't currently have, but it's one I wanna work towards getting. 
But basically what Venomous does is that it reduces the target's walk speed by 25 and deals 25 damage a second for 4 seconds. Um, this is good if you're still not quite immediately one-shotting mobs or you're dealing with other kind of mobs besides the ones you one-shot, then that's going to be a handy enchant to have. So the next enchant on my list is going to be Giant Killer 5. Um, now Giant Killer 5 is a really, really good enchant. But if you have good gear like I do, well it's not necessarily that good, but I do have a, a lot of health here as you can see. The way that Giant Killer works is when the enemy has more health than you, it deals more damage to them. So if you have 100 health and your enemy has 200, it's going to deal more damage. But if you have 400 health and your enemy has 200, then it's going to be ineffective. Back before I enchanted my armor here, I used to be able to do 1000 damage to zombies. It was crazy. But unfortunately, once I got growth on all my armor here, which increased my health by a lot, um, it basically, I don't do as much damage as I used to. I still one-shot them, but it's not quite as much as it used to be. And Giant Killer could be higher on the list, but for the reasons that we are assuming that you have um, pretty good gear, that would probably mean you have growth, which would also mean that it's not going to be as useful. So next up on the list here, we have Vampirism 5. I'm not quite sure if I'm saying it right. I always feel like I'm saying it wrong, but... Anyway, what it does is it heals you when you kill enemies. Um, there's another enchant that's similar to this. I'll get to it later on. But yeah, this is basically the better version of that one. So next up on the list, I have Scavenger 3. Now, Scavenger 3 gives you 1.5 coins per level of a mob you kill. So if I kill a level 20 um, zombie, I'm going to get 30 coins for that. So it's a nice enchant to have just to make some passive income while you're out maybe in the mines and you're dealing with the mobs killing them or maybe you're um, grinding out your combat level. Um, it's a nice way to get money there as well. Now the next few enchants on my list, they would be higher on my list except for the fact that I one shot mobs. These, these enchants only take effect when you're hitting a mob multiple times. So if your sword doesn't one-shot mobs, then maybe these could be a higher priority for you. But as far as someone who does one-shot the mobs, which if you go down the list and get the enchantments that I already mentioned to you, you will be one-shotting mobs. But anyway, the first of these enchants is Thunderlord 5. Um, basically with this one, after 3 hits, it strikes the target with lightning that does 50% of the damage you do. The next enchant I'm going to be talking about here is Lethality 5. Uh, this one basically lowers your target's armor by 5% with each hit. Um, it lasts 8 seconds and it can stack up to 5. Your next enchantment here is going to be Execute 3. Now Execute 3 basically deals damage dealt by 3% for each percent of the mob's missing health. So say it was, say you had 100 health and it's missing... 10 then you're gonna do 30% extra damage so the next enchant on the list is gonna be a fire aspect 2 um, this you guys all know what this is it's a default enchant but it sets enemies on fire and again it's not really useful unless you're not one-shotting mobs next up we're gonna have cleave 5 what cleave 5 does is it damages mobs within a four and a half block radius with 15% of your attack um, by the way if you are using a cleaver it automatically has this on there, but it's like a weaker version. But yeah, anyway, it's like it's a good concept, but it doesn't do enough damage to be worth it because then you still end up having to hit those other mobs um, to kill them as well. And since you're already one shotting, it just it doesn't really affect anything. And then the least important enchantment on my list here is going to be Life Steal Three. And the reason for that is it's just unnecessary because when you have Vampirism Five. They do the same thing, but Vampirism is just a better version. Okay, now we're going to talk about some miscellaneous enchantments that you could get if you wanted them. Some of them are good for certain things, but for the most part, you don't really need them for a god sword. Uh, these are, and these are in no particular order, like I didn't rank them, I just have them listed out. So the first one is Cubism 5. Cubism 5 um, does extra damage to creepers, slimes, and magma cubes. Uh, next up, we have Ender Slayer 4, which does extra damage to Endermen and Ender Dragons. I've 
I don't know when you would be killing an ender dragon if that's even a thing, but if it is, there you go. <laughs> um, next up is Impaling 3, which um, increases your damage to Guardians and Squid. And then Luck 5, this one's going to be a good one for if you're trying to get, uh, maybe you don't have Lapis Gear yet and you just want to throw it on a random sword. Then we have Looting 3, um, You get everyone knows what that is as well, it's a default one. It just gives you extra drops from mobs. Yeah, I don't really find it useful because I'm never really collecting mob drops, but if for some reason you decide that's good, have at it. And then the final enchantment I'm going to be talking about today, this is the enchantment that I hate the most, is going to be Knockback 2. Um, of course, you guys know what this is as well. It knocks mobs back, and I find it very, very annoying because... When you're not one-shotting mobs, like say you're not one-shotting mobs yet and you have to hit them multiple times, it's impossible to combo them because they just get out of um, your area of reach so you just have to run back up to them. And especially if it's something that shoots projectiles, then they have extra chance to shoot you and do damage to you. So it's really, in my opinion, just a pointless enchantment, but yeah. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end off the video here. Um, if you did find this little... I guess a guide to enchanting your god sword uh, useful please leave a like consider subscribing for more tutorials um, leave a comment letting me know what other tutorials you'd like to see and uh, yeah thank you for watching I'll see you on next time peace